so I wrote down these, uh, these decision rules, these kind of guidelines for doing this style of interviewing, and hadn't really meant to do much with them except uh, think about them, and I sent them to a few colleagues for a discussion, and one said I'd like to publish it. And that's a pretty common human phenomenon, nothing unique to addictions about that, to, to want this relationship and not want it, or to want this relationship or that relationship. Or to be or not to be. To be or not to be, that's right, yeah, to, to change jobs or keep the same job. Uh, and usually what happens when somebody is ambivalent is they'll think of a reason for changing, then they'll think of a reason for not changing, and then they'll stop thinking about it because it's uncomfortable to, yeah. to be ambivalent. Some, some approaches, uh, including I think cognitive behavioral ones, often come from a deficit model. That okay. The client's missing something. Uh, they don't have the right skills or they're, they're not logical or whatever it is. Uh, and I have the thing they need, so I'm going to install that like software into the person. Then they'll run better. You know? This approach assumes that the person has much of what they need already. And the therapist's job is to call it forth.